April 17th, been out all day, uh, went to an old park, found a couple wheat pennies, other than that it was just, it was trash, but anyway I came down to some flood property areas, and look what I got here, first, well not first, first silver of the day though, 1941 Washington quarter, uh, I don't know if there's a mint on the back, but I'm not going to clean it up anymore. It's a little dirty. Alright guys, if I get... Well, if I find anything, I'll also get back to you. I've already got a couple of wheat pennies down here, earliest being in 1920. So I know there's got to be more silver down here along these strips, so... Alright. Hey, what's up guys? Out at a park I've done before, found rings and stuff out here. But anyway, I just plopped this guy out of this uh, good hole. Anyway, I don't know if you could see it here. Let me focus in and get better light. But anyway, it's a 1917 wheat penny, and since the ground's really uh, soft right now due to some rain, it's gonna say uh, coins are coming up clean and everything's looking good. So. All right, get back at ya. It's April 27th. Um, I decided to get out for a little bit and go detecting today, and I've been at the spot where I found my first uh, oh, barber dime, but D Derek and I have come down here, and we tried hitting this again. We couldn't find anything, and since I got the smaller coil, and I knew this place is super trashy, decided to get out, and sure enough, I got a 43-44 signal bouncing back and forth. And I don't know if you can see, but the hole down there, it's about six inches down and towards the bottom of the plug. And as determination would have it, it's a Merc. I don't know what year, but I know this place is early 1900s, so I'm going to rub at it a little bit. Well, maybe. Uh-oh. It's a 1916. I don't know if there's a mint mark on the back or not. I don't want to rub it, so we're going to leave it alone, and once I clean it up, I will get back to you guys. Then, I got this presidential token for Bill Clinton, 1993. Back of it. Five-term governor of Arkansas. Yada, yada, yada. Youngest... U.S. President elected at age 46. Then the find of the day is this lovely coin. This thing's in really great shape. I, for the heck of it, I decided to clean it up, but it is a 1916S. But no, it's got like a full reeded edge and everything else on it, so. There's a lot of detail, too. Hey guys, May 2nd, Derek over and I, we're out at this old park, anyway, this is my second weedy, I didn't record the first one, don't know why, it was as green as this one, but, oh. 1914 wheat, very green, very good condition, so, but yeah, if we find any more else out at this old, old park, we'll get back at you, hopefully we'll find some silver too. All right, back at you. Know if you can see that, we need number three for the day. Sweet. Down there in the hole a little bit, about oh four inches down. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Check out this dirt clump. Oops. Kind of see it. Yeah, hard to see. Anyway, all right, guys. If we find anything else, we'll get back at you. Get a little sunlight here. Oh. Get it focused. Here it goes. I don't know if you guys can see that. 
be a good vehicle for today. I can see it a little bit better. 1907 is the year. I didn't rub at it too much. Yeah, right after I got done filming that wheat too, he called me over. Can't see much on the back at all. Cool though. Awesome guys. Back at you. Hey folks. Derek got another weedy. Was it 46? 1946. One set. Alrighty. We gotta beat the rain here if it's gonna be coming, so we'll get back at you. And he calls me over for another back to back V nickel. 1897. It's nice. We got our metal detecting club meeting tonight, and we do a find of the month, and it goes by the oldest coin. And I was happy I got the V nickel from the 1900s, but now I got an 1800 one to enter. Hopefully, it can net me something. Cool. There you go, sir. Cool cap you made for the Hey, yeah. Back here, Derek found that pretty uh, old distiller cap right there, and I found this 1916 wheat penny. Unfortunately, it's not a S or a D, but still cool nonetheless, so. All right, guys, get back at ya. All right, guys. I forget whatever wheat that is on the board, but it's a 34D. Nice and green, though. Ground's nice and saturated, so. All right. Hopefully we'll get silver. Woo! All right, guys. Moment of truth. Derek, I believe you found silver here because I do see shape on it a little bit. It looks like it could be a seed of their barber at least. And I've found stuff like this before that's been like watch battery, crappy little circle things. It looks like seed of their barber. It's got to be. There's no reeded edge, though. That's got to be seeded. Come on. Oh, it's barber. Nope, barber. <laughs> oh, my God. Super, super worn. Jeez. We've been waiting for this all day. Oh my, this has got to be the most worn coin that I have ever found. Look at that. It doesn't even feel like a coin. There's, like, barely any edge to it. What did it ring up as? This rang up as a 39, 40, 38. <laughs> worst silver signal ever. What year? Uh, year? I don't know. I'm hoping I can grab a year off of it to enter this into the find of the month tonight. I'm trying to take a peek here. Oh man, the camera really picks up the shape on it. Yeah, I can't tell what that is. It's so worn. Look how thin that is. There's no There's edge no to edge it. There's no edge or anything. It's it. I really, I was questioning in my mind: is this actually silver, or is this just another one of these stupid trick things? <laughs> It had the good, it had the shape of a dime, like it was the perfect size. But I've found it and it's been crap before. Well, that's sweet. There you go, sir. All right, guys. Maybe it's my turn now. We'll see. All right, we're gonna try something new. You've seen these YouTube videos where people do these clumps and they break it apart. Well, we got a solid 1240 or 12 1234 th stuck in the clump. Hoping it's in the first Indian head of the day. So maybe we can do this little break thing. Ooh. Is that another silver? Yeah, it's nope, no, it's no. A button. Oh darn. Well, it was worth a shot. Darn. Interesting, anyway. Never left 1234 in my machine. Ah. All right, get back if you find anything else. Woo. All right, guys, I'm happy because it puts me on the board for one nice feed nickel. Looks like it's a 1903. Sweet. All right. Yeah, we've dug like, I don't know, probably a total of 50 to 100 beaver tails so far. And makes these older nickels worth it. All right, guys.